This video shows how to send an email with an universal Windows platform app. So this is, and the code will be on my website. So first I go to my application. That's my application. You will find the code below uh, the video then. And when I start my application, now system is compiling. Uh, this is Windows. Uh, 10. I'm sending the email and then I go to my account and then there comes in this email which says this is an email as an universal Windows platform app and it comes from the post from my postmaster. So how does this work? This works by this code which I've embedded in here. Uh, you have to create a Windows application that's windows application saml front end uh, i think that's not the main item at, the, at that point and then we go there and we say uh, when we push the button send the email with a title and some text and then i say create a new mail message which comes from those uh, from those namespaces so this is System net mail. You need the uh, if you embed this one, then you need the at least the framework. Where is it? Properties. You need the min version uh, sixteen two nine nine. So this is uh, when you create this app, take the min version to above uh, this version or two nine nine at least. Then um, that's because you need this uh, the system net and system mail which is in there. Then you say create a mail, add an uh, add an email. So type it, uh, type in some text in there, like this one. Uh, to whom does the mail go? Then take a from new mail address. So this is a um, if you don't do this, it will uh, look up for the mails from your uh, default system. So you need a new mail address, type something in there. So this is the uh, the caption which is se uh, on the top line of, uh, of the email which comes in. You may write anything in there. Make a subject, that's the title of the mail, then the body. If you need HTML, you have to write it as HTML with brackets. And then we need this SMTP client. SMTP client, system net mail SMTP client. And then there, you go there and say, okay, you have a host, you have a user default uh, credentials. So you have to say, uh, you have to give a user and a password on there. And then that's the client credentials. You create a new network credential and then write in your user and your password, password which um, are not visible at, at this moment because uh, these are my own ones. Uh, type a user there and the password. And then take the, if you have a default without, uh, with SS, without SSL port 25, with SSL the 587 uh, enable SSL and then uh, yeah and then simply do this one client dot send and then the email inside um, and with and that's now at the moment this is not uh, asynchronous but there you get an, an error if something happens and if you take the asynchronous mode await client send mail async with the mail inside then you get uh, no message uh, if something happens, but it depends on you what you do. So you will find the code on my website on ready.net and the link is below the video. There's an English version and my German version too. That's the German version.